Hey guys, it's Tamara from Black Girl Lockdown and today I'm going to be reviewing the new XL Size Stamper from Uber Cheek Beauty. Uh, let's get, there we go. And I have this on the Uber Cheek Mini Mat, Uber Mini Mat, which I'm gonna be the mini Uber Mat, bleh, that I'm gonna also be reviewing or doing like a little video on later. Um, well, I'll show you guys how to get this into the washer. This washer that I got is the same one that uh, Uber Cheek provided in the link. It's just a one and a half diameter washer. This one is from Lowe's. Yeah, I'm gonna take the stamper, this bottom side, this side, and take the washer's uh, widest side, and then take that round side and Plop it right in. And let's see if I can. There we go. Show you. Just push it in. Ah, and don't let it. Obviously, don't push too hard. Right now what I'm doing is just making sure it's evenly put in. And if you, let me see I can focus it for you. If you look around the edge, you can see if it's totally in. So, what do I love about this damper? It's the lack of tunnel vision. Like pretty much what you see it's over, you can see it very clearly, just like you can see from the mat like what I put it on I can see it perfectly so I'm going to compare that to I actually have one of my classic very first not from the original maker but from Aliexpress my first clear jelly stamper it's just a generic generic one and what I want you to note See how I can see this so clearly? And the same thing with my nail. If I put it there, I can see it really clearly. Um, that, wait for a second. With the classic ones, you are look. You have to look down. I don't even know if I can show you this so you can see it, what I mean. You really have to look down and through the scope to see clearly. And you really have to do that with this stamper. So that's, that, this is, I love that. I love that she innovated and thought about that because it actually is really annoying to try to get down on it. I would say the consistency of the stamper is, uh, it's squishy. It's not squishy soft, it's, it's like squishy, uh, squishy, <laughs> I think about it. Squishy. Uh, squishy. Moderate. <laughs> guys are like, what the fuck? Yeah, squishy moderate um, is what I would say. But if I compare it to the softest one I own, which is from Fabio Nails, this one is a little bit. This one's more firm. This one has more, much more give. So, and it's, it's only very slightly sticky, like very slightly. So I would not categorize this one as like a marshmallowy clear stamper. It's like a squishy moderate. So all of that aside, let's see how it stamps. All right. Okay, I changed my polish and I'm back. I'm gonna be using this image from the Uber Chic Beauty plate, I have some glue on my nails, as you can see, but I'm going to be using that image and sample.
switch plates to a different image. Let's do one that's more full. So it's this one. It has only tiny little gaps in it. would have helped if I had not if I actually got my whole nail on the image but that's okay all right so let's clean the stamper try it flat and I'm also going to adjust the angle of the camera okay guys so I just changed the angle of the camera to as close as I would if I was going to do a tutorial and then I'm going to try restamping this image because I'm not happy with how that came out that was really bad and that was definitely my error
see the pickup though still isn't it's not perfect but it's better all right and I'm just going to have my nail down as though I would for a regular tutorial line it up and press down and you see it conforms really beautifully but thrilled with that compared to the other ones this one didn't come out as nicely I don't know why uh, all right we're gonna do this image Focus. and the lines here are very fine so I'm gonna use a different like a scraper that's a little less aggro stamper I think it the stamper itself has really beautiful pickup um, I think when they're not necessarily total full nail images or geometric ones you get very beautiful image transfer like my first two nails but I have to admit when I go to press down on this one because of the way the stamper molds to your nail the stamper pops pushes itself out of the washer um, I'm not entirely sure what the solution to that is though because you do need to hold it to keep from warping your stamp and it might be just to press and hold so I'm gonna try one more trick and see if that works so I'll come back I'm gonna have to remove the nail polish from one of my nails and I'll try one more trick to see if it's the method that I'm holding the stamper at and if that will work to clear this up because this is such an awesome stamper and I really love the lack of tunnel vision so let me see if I can try one other thing all right started to peel off my glue and then I noticed that um, all of my patterns were coming up and I realized it's because oh I didn't put top coat on so of course they're gonna come up which means that I can not pull off the nail but re use it and try another trick just got to get off most of the polish so that I'm back to a blank template and <laughs> pretty cool right all right so dry and let's do it again I think I had decided that it's better to scrape this one from the top is how the design goes Yep. And pick up. Perfect pick up. So make sure this is in focus. And now what I'm gonna do is just brace my finger a little bit and press down. Ha! Ha! <laughs> yes! And now I have absolutely perfect. Now it's perfect is perfectly straight so I think um, because of the way the stamper is so shallowly and you can definitely you saw me line it up perfectly I was able to see but then as soon as I got it lined up I put my finger to brace just to keep the stamper from popping up like it did the first couple of times through 
So see how it's still flush? Sorry guys, focus. Yeah, see how the edges is still flush, are still flush? So yeah, basically, if you're gonna do a full nail image, especially one with lines like that, you really need to brace the stamper. If you do that, you then you get left with perfect, perfect pickup. And if you don't, not so much. So um, let me demonstrate it one more time for you guys so you see that I'm not bonkers, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. The only nail I have left is my pinky. So that's it's gonna be small for this one, but it should I should still be able to demonstrate that there's no warping if you um, if you steady the, the stamper with the back of your finger as you come down. So great. both so if you hold it for a full nail image then you won't get that warping like that and that is pretty convenient I see it was a little sloppy with my stamping here because I see I didn't even cover my whole nail again but that's okay the point was just to prove that I could Warp my nails. So. so that was wholly messy but useful. So I was able to show you can get beautiful image pickup with this. You can get geometric pickup with straight line, like without warping your lines, as long as you spin in things. Um, which apparently I did a little less better on my pinky than I did on my middle finger, but still. Um, so Definitely, I love the um, factor that you don't get the tunnel vision. I do think that this is a stamper that requires um, practice, especially if you're going to use the washer as the holder to get used to holding it and stamping with it and um, getting even good pickup, but it is totally possible. So. Uh, you can go to the blog and find more information about the stamper up there. I have a whole post with more measurements and also static swatches on the blog, um, as well as other info. I'll put the links below for where you can purchase the stamper and any of the products that you saw me use here today, the Uber Mat, Mini Mat and the uh, plates, of course, and 
I hope that that, that you enjoyed this review and please let me know if you have questions about the holder, the stamper, or anything else in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and bye!